At this point, I'm having this question come up frequently. And the truth of the matter is our state has a lot of diversity when it comes to pricing, when it comes to style of living, even in terms of some of the different things you'll want to consider as far as location goes, whether you're closer to the coast or farther inland. There's a lot to discuss, and we certainly can't cover all of it in this video. What we can do is give you a really nice bird's eye view, comprehensive of the entire state of South Carolina that I know will be extremely helpful for a lot of you that I'm seeing from all over the country that are considering or are certainly making a move to South Carolina, but you don't know what part of the state is going to be the best fit for you. So we're going to look at the most moved to and the largest cities in the state of South Carolina. But remember that with each one of these that you may have an interest in, there's surrounding areas to consider also that are smaller. But for the sake of time, we can't cover every single location in the state of South Carolina. So we're going to hit the major spots and that will give you an excellent foundation to understand what you need to be mapping out and planning in your mind in terms of going to the next phase of figuring out where you want to go or look further into in the state of South Carolina. Let's start out west with Greenville, South Carolina. And obviously one of the first things to consider is always going to be cost. The average price per square foot for homes in Greenville, South Carolina is $222 per. Now when you segment the market, which is important because if there's 100 viewers of this video, there's going to be 100 different budgets. So how much do you have to spend on a house? And that's important because price per square foot varies across the spectrum of home prices. And so as you can see here, the top of the market in Greenville, the average price per square foot is actually $351 per square foot as of October the 11th. And just for a point of reference, the top market segment in Greenville, you're talking about $800,000 to a million dollar plus homes. If you're shopping anywhere between $300,000 and half a million dollars, then you're going to be closer to that $220 mark per square foot. Now, Greenville's in the upstate northwestern part of South Carolina with a population of about 72,000 people. Uh, in terms of travel and locations, if you're thinking Greenville, perhaps vacations, trips, anything like that, you're going to, of course, be right there, neighbors with western North Carolina and then Tennessee. So you're thinking mountains, trips to Tennessee, Asheville, that kind of thing. You're going to be close to Clemson University in the upstate up there. So if you want to go to a football game, that kind of thing. So there's a snapshot of Greenville, South Carolina. That's usually in the top three of cities that I see that people are in their list to consider when it comes to South Carolina. Next, if you want to just move slightly up to the northeast is Spartanburg, South Carolina, a city that's a little bit smaller of 38,000 plus people roughly. And it's going to be a little bit cheaper with an average price per square foot of $159 per. And if you segment the market there, you'll see that the top of the market in Spartanburg is significantly cheaper at $179 per. Now, there's not nearly the amount of expensive homes in Spartanburg, though. So the top market in Spartanburg represents around half a million dollars. Not to say that there's not some homes that are more expensive. These are just averages, of course. So depending on your budget, if you're more interested in the northeast part of the upstate of South Carolina, this is going to be a good option because because proximity wise, it's going to be very similar to what Greenville is that we just looked at. And if that's what interests you, you may want to consider Spartanburg. It's not a far drive from Greenville. Prices are going to be a little bit cheaper, but of course the city is not going to offer quite as much as Greenville does. All right. So next, if we move down South, is going to be Aiken, South Carolina. Now Aiken, South Carolina is a smaller city than the other two at just over 32,000 people in population. And the home prices are similar to what you see in Spartanburg. Aiken is horse country. So there's a lot of equestrian life that goes on in Aiken. Aiken's a city with more of a historic feel. It's a small city. It's a country city, but it has more of a an aristocratic type feel to it, if I can say that. Uh, it really is a beautiful place, and you're going to be just outside of Augusta, Georgia, to put it in proximity for you. Not too far from Atlanta, but also really close to Columbia, South Carolina, with an average price per square foot of $162 per. And you can see the market segments Pretty much all the homes in Aiken are around that $150 per mark, except for the top segment of the Aiken market, which is going to be closer to $250 per square foot. And what you're talking about there are your $600 to $1 million homes in Aiken, where you can buy said homes and get large lots of land to go along with them. A couple things to consider with Aiken, South Carolina. Next, we mentioned it. Let's move over to the capital city, which is where I spent a good portion of my childhood, about five years in the city of Columbia, South Carolina, with a population as of 2022 of about 140,000 people. The average price per square foot for homes in Columbia is $150 per. So the cheapest that we've seen on our list so far. And even with the top segment of the market in Columbia being $170 per square foot. And these are going to be around your half a million dollar homes. Now, again, there are homes 
homes in Colombia that are much more expensive than this. These are just averages, but the takeaway is out of the cities that we've looked at so far, Colombia is going to be one of the least expensive for you to consider. Now in Colombia, you're landlocked right in the middle of the state. You are just down the road from Charlotte, North Carolina. You're going to be roughly two and a half hours from the coast, about an hour from Augusta, Georgia. And Columbia does offer a lot in terms of a city. Uh, downtown Columbia offers a lot of culture. So there's going to be a lot of food, a lot of events. The University of South Carolina is in Columbia, in the downtown portion of Columbia. A lot of the major events in terms of entertainment that come to the state of South Carolina, so shows, whether it be concerts or particular maybe national sporting events, things of that nature, usually are going to either Greenville or Columbia, to the arenas in those two cities. So there's something to think about. Um, I have nothing negative to say about my time in Columbia. It's a city that I look fondly on from my time there, although I do personally prefer where I'm at now. But before we get to that, let's move south and take a look at Charleston, South Carolina. Now, Charleston is a beautiful historic city. Charleston is also going to be the most expensive place in the state of South Carolina to move to. Charleston has a population of 153,000 plus, with the homes coming in at an average of $392 per square foot. And if you segment out the market, you can see that that range is pretty vast. So even the bottom market segment in Charleston is $274 per, more expensive than anything we've looked at in the state. But the top market segment in Charleston, South Carolina is on an average of $761 per square foot. And at that point, you're talking about multi-million dollar homes. Charleston is a historic city. It's a beautiful city and it's a growing city. And what comes along with a lot of that is it can begin to get very expensive. So for many people out there, this is a non-issue and this is what they're looking for. But there have been others that felt like they bit off more than they wanted to chew. And we actually released two videos uh, last week, I think it was, there were two stories from couples that had moved to Charleston and then moved away for very similar reasons. I'll link those videos at the top right here. If you're interested in looking at that, if you're considering Charleston, I definitely recommend that you go check those out. We read two articles that were from firsthand experiences, accounts of couples that had moved to Charleston. And one of those couples and one of those articles that we read ended up moving to the city that I'm based out of which is Florence, South Carolina. So just a couple hours to the north of Charleston, an hour east of Columbia, South Carolina, and about an hour and a half west of the coast is Florence, South Carolina, with a population of 40,000 people. The homes in Florence come in at an average price per square foot of $144 per. Across market segments, the top market segment being in the 160s. And you're talking about homes that are half a million dollars and up. We have, at any given time, maybe a couple of million dollar listings in Florence that are active. And look, I cover Florence on this channel. There's a ton of content on Florence, South Carolina on this channel with more God willing coming in the future. So I don't want to belabor Florence. All I'll say for the sake of brevity in this video is that Florence is a growing city. There's a lot of investing that is going on to develop our downtown area, the culture in Florence, the restaurant scene. There's a lot of events that we have and the number of those is growing. A great sense of community here. There's some really beautiful homes. There's some fantastic neighborhoods in Florence. We're situated right on I-95 and I-20. So to travel pretty much anywhere in the country, it's easy to get on the interstate and get going. Commute times are short pretty much wherever you work in the county, really. It's the place that I've called home for the majority of 40 years. And I love it personally. Out of all the options we're going to look at today, especially in terms of a most complete package in terms of what this community offers, Florence is the most affordable place to live. And I am biased, but it's my personal favorite on this list. Now, I am based out of Florence, but because I split time between Florence and Myrtle Beach pretty much my whole life, even those five years in Columbia, we would still frequent Myrtle Beach. I also service Conway and Myrtle Beach. So first, let's look at Conway. Now, Conway is going to be very comparable to Florence in the sense that it's also a small city. It's smaller than Florence. The population of Conway, as you can see there, are just over 27,000 people, but it's fastly growing. And that's because of the population growth in Myrtle Beach, which is where we're going to finish here in just a second. But the makeup of the city is very similar to that of Florence, I would say. Conway has a really nice downtown area. There's a lot of investment, development, and growth new businesses that are popping up in Conway. And so Conway can be a really nice option for those that want to be closer to the beach. So remember in Florence, you're over 60 miles west of the coast. So it's about an hour and a half drive to get down to the coast. Conway is much closer. You're about 20 miles from the coast than Conway at any given point relatively. Now, what I will say is Conway is growing fast. As you can look at the 
population metrics there and see that. And it's going to be significantly more expensive than Florence is going to be with an average price per square foot of $194 per. So just on average across all market segments, we're at $50 per square foot higher. And then if you segment the market out, you'll see that at the top portion of the market in Conway, the number goes up over $200 per square foot at 214 right now. And that's one thing I wanted to point out. In terms of the lifestyle in the actual city, Conway's very similar to Florence. Now, in Conway, you're going to deal with a lot more beach traffic going right through the city than you would deal with in Florence, uh, which is one thing to maybe consider. But probably the bigger consideration is going to be that it's going to be significantly more expensive to buy a home in Conway than it is in Florence. So they have their pros and cons, and I'd say it's a toss-up. Of the people that I'm seeing and work with, it's probably 50-50 from the people that are considering being closer to the ocean and considering a place like Conway versus those that would consider the positives of going with Florence. And finally, that brings us to the last city that we're going to look at, which is Myrtle Beach. The most moved to city, according to pods, in 2024 and 23. The population of Myrtle Beach is very similar to Florence at about 40,000 people and counting. And Myrtle Beach is going to be right there in that top three of most expensive places to consider in South Carolina, Charleston, and then Greenville and Myrtle Beach, with an average price per square foot of $225 per. But when you segment out the market in Myrtle Beach, you can see that those go up to well over $300 per square foot when you get to the top market segment. And the reason there's this giant gap, and many of you could probably guess, is oceanfront property. So oceanfront property, the price is going to skyrocket, of course. And so that's what makes up a lot of that gap that you would see there. There's always a handful of million dollar and multi-million dollar listings available at any given time in Myrtle Beach. And as far as Myrtle Beach goes, Myrtle Beach is going to offer everything that you could want in city living. There's no shortage of shopping and food in Myrtle Beach. But of course, it's a heavy tourist destination for a lot of people up and down the coast and even out west. So you just have to consider what makes the most sense for you. And for a lot of people going back to Conway, people that really do prioritize being on the coast, but they don't want to deal with the prices and they want to at least minimize some of the tourist elements and things like that. A lot of people are choosing Conway and that's why there is so much new construction going up in Conway and you've seen that population spike. With Myrtle Beach being the most moved to city, that in Wilmington in the United States, according to Pods, which we did this video on, that growth you're seeing in Conway is directly related. So many people are choosing that option and I would assume that many of you watching this video were probably going to want to consider that as well. And that's why we did the video. If you go back to those two articles from Charleston that we referenced earlier in this video that we did last week, me being a local real estate agent, I know that people many times are making moves in an environment with a lack of information and they're kicking themselves because they're like, man, I would have made a different move if I would have known X, Y, or Z. What I've tried to do here is give you something that albeit very much a bird's eye view is somewhat comprehensive to at least give you a starting point and some of those critical things to consider that really could set you on the right track in the beginning of your home search. I mean, I see this question, you know, probably an average of at least one to three times a week. This question comes up. We're considering moving to South Carolina from blank and we don't know what city to consider. What advice do you have? What information do you have? That's what this is designed to be. If you watch this, I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like. It helps us out a lot to continue to put content like this out there. And so we really do appreciate it. And also, I am a licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina. And I do service Florence, Conway, Myrtle Beach area, all the way out to Sumter, South Carolina, from Dillon, South Carolina, down to around King Street. And that brings me to the last two points I want to mention. One being, there's a lot of surrounding areas that we could really dive down even further and so, for example, in Florence, right next door, you have Darlington. Darlington's going to be even cheaper. You have Hartsville, South Carolina, which is also west of Florence. You have Effingham, South Carolina. So you have these surrounding areas. So take this as a base level into which if a particular area jumps out to you or you are able to scratch some places off of your list, now you need to drill down even further. And the best thing to do is to get in contact with a qualified and serviceable real estate agent in that area so that they can start to, you know, answer any more developed questions that you have and then really get into the home search. So if you're considering anything in the Florence area, particularly Florence surrounding areas, Conway surrounding areas and Myrtle Beach and the surrounding areas, Polly's Island, Merle's Inlet, 
Garden City, Sacristy, etc., then reach out to me. This is what I do for a living. I would love to help you. I can certainly help you find what you're looking for. I check the market multiple times a day to see what's new and has hit the market. I try to be quick to the draw with time being of the essence in real estate to help people find the homes that they're looking for and to also serve in this analytical capacity so that I can help you dial in exactly what you need to consider and know to determine what market you want to shop in. I've been able to build a good reputation with the buyers that I've worked with trying to serve in this capacity. Capacity. And so I would love the opportunity to do that for you as well. So again, if you'd like to discuss anything further, my contact information is down in the description of the video. I'd love to hear from you soon. In the meantime, I wish you all the best in your home search. Y'all take care.